hello friends and uh, welcome to my new video today I'd like to talk about uh, two films which have recently been released uh, on the OTT platforms and uh, both are thrillers and uh, quite a lot of expectations uh, have been there around both these films I've watched both of them and I thought I'd like to share my views on the films with you the first film uh, I want to talk about is uh, one that was released uh, on Amazon Prime on Prime Video and uh, it is the much awaited and much anticipated sequel to the brilliant Drishyam. This is Drishyam 2 or The Resumption as it's subtitled. Uh, Drishyam 2 is uh, in Malayalam and uh, it's directed by its original director, Jitu Joseph. And uh, it is a continuation of uh, the same story that was unfolded in the first part in Drishyam. And uh, the story is continuing now in Drishyam too, with Mohan Lal living with his uh, wife and two daughters who've grown up. Six or seven years have passed. And uh, he has done pretty well for himself. He is now uh, the proud owner of a cinema hall. And uh, his younger daughter is in college. And the older daughter is uh, at home with them and even till now she is constantly plagued by the demons of her past she can't seem to get over what happened with her uh, in the past the family seemingly leads a normal life and uh, they try their best to forget past incidents and move on with their lives but uh, as they start finding out that it's difficult to get rid of the past completely uh, the people around the small town who had earlier supported uh, Mohan Lal and his family are now not so sure of his innocence and that coupled with a certain amount of jealousy creeping in because of uh, how well he's done for himself that seems to have changed people's minds and a lot of them now secretly believe that he could have been the culprit for those of you who haven't seen Drishyam uh, the first part probably doesn't make sense to see the second part before having seen the first part but nevertheless I'll just give you a brief gist of what had happened in uh, the first Drishyam uh, in which uh, the family of Mohan Lal had been accused of the murder of the son of a police officer and uh, although the evidence was very very strong uh, against them it was never proved that uh, Mohan Lal or anyone from his family had killed the police officer's son and eventually he was acquitted that's how the first part ends and uh, Drishyam too continues on the same path with the police uh, not having given up and it's almost like a personal challenge to the police that they were made uh, fools of by Mohan Lal and they are out to prove that he is guilty and uh, an extremely interesting cat and mouse game begins with the police and uh, Mohan Lal and this time seemingly they seem to have more evidence against him than the previous time in order to prove that he's guilty Drishyam 2 is fantastic it starts off a little slow the first 45 minutes to an hour is uh, very relaxed in terms of pace and uh, it's perhaps done deliberately because it's it's a kind of letting the audience gradually into the movie making them believe that everything is fine everything is simple and straightforward before gradually entrapping the audience into a maze of deceit and twists and turns and shockers which uh, 
start right from the interval point of the movie and uh, it's a fabulous movie it's i think a very worthy sequel to uh, an equally great original film drishyam and uh, it's usually difficult to live up to the expectations that a sequel generates when the first part has been so good but uh, drishyam 2 works very very well it's a wonderfully engaging and uh, taut movie with some super performances by uh, almost everyone in the cast spearheaded by mohan lal of course he exudes a sense of strength a sense of cool and peaceful demeanor beneath that steely resolve to protect his family and he is absolutely fabulous in the movie and uh, what happens uh, at uh, the end of drishyam 2 is uh, yet another shocker and uh, as i said the movie has a lot of uh, twists and turns and unexpected uh, changes to the storyline starting from the interval point and then it leads to a climax which is uh, absolutely fabulous i will not give away too much of the story or any of the plots because i don't want any spoilers you know you should see the movie and enjoy it and discover for yourself what a worthy successor to uh, drishyam drishyam 2 is it's a fabulous movie showing uh, on amazon prime don't miss it the other movie which was uh, released uh, recently on another ott on netflix actually is uh, the hindi adaptation of a very uh, cult english movie the girl on the train and this one is also called the girl on the train and is uh, directed by uh, ribhu das gupta who made uh, michael with nasiruddin shah and uh, mahi kel and then uh, teen with amitabh bachchan uh, girl on the train is an official adaptation of the english movie of the same name and uh, has a lot of potential it has a lot of promise you know for those who've seen the english movie you will know what the story is i will not get into the details of the story because uh, uh, you know i don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it as yet it's a mystery it's a psychological thriller about a girl who loses her memory temporarily and uh, how she gets involved in a murder case that's what the movie is about i will not give you any other details of the movie all i can say is uh the girl on the train had everything going for it uh, to make it an engaging and uh, gripping thriller and it succeeds to an extent it succeeds to an extent i will not say it is the greatest thriller ever made or it's a perfect uh, remake of the english version there are some very very uh, big differences between the english version as well as uh, and the hindi version there are there are some major differences uh, so you know even though you might have seen the original it's still worth a watch but there are things there are elements in the movie which i feel uh, slow the pace of the movie the editing could have been uh, snippier definitely you know there are parts of the movie uh, which drags uh, the songs i thought were completely unnecessary with a movie of this kind the songs actually slow the pace of the movie quite unnecessarily uh, they shouldn't have been there and uh, you know uh, somehow the movie stops at being a great film you know it's it's a average to better than average or just about touching good kind of a movie there are some twists and turns which take you by surprise the performances are first rate parinithi chopra uh, is brilliant as is uh, kirti kulhari as uh, the hard hitting cop who is uh, after parinithi uh, aditi rao how haider looks uh, very good she looks beautiful and fresh in the brief role that she has and uh, performance wise as i said you know it, you know there are strong performances overall 
but somewhere down the line uh, you know the direction and the editing are not as good as they should be to make uh, a thriller really gripping and really uh, engaging there are parts of the movie where the audience seem to lose interest because uh, because of the pace of the movie overall i would say it's a 6 on 10 movie if there were marks being given uh, uh, for ratings it's a 6 on 10 movie unlike drishyam 2 which would definitely be 8 to 8.5 on 10 Uh, this one the girl on the train is a 6 on 10 movie but definitely worth a watch even for the people who've seen the english movie it's worth a watch because there are differences believe me there are differences so it's uh, definitely worth a watch one time girl on the train and drishyam 2 two new thrillers which are there currently showing on your otts for you to watch and enjoy Hope you like this uh, video. It's the first time I've been reviewing uh, new movies. Not much of a review really, but my opinions and uh, you know my uh, point of view on the movies. Uh, I hope you've liked them, and I hope uh, you are encouraged to watch both of these uh, movies. And uh, you can let me know in the comment section what you thought of the movies. Well, that's all for this week. Until the next time, bye for now.